and see. Yeah, hi all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all fine. <laughs> yeah, like you can see, I have just deleted an uh, Intel Xeon. Um, normally, you just don't need to remove the hit wheels because they are here soldered. Uh, the other thing is only um, sometimes when they was just bad soldered, you have some small air bubbles inside there. So that means um, if the solder was not really hot while they was just closing, um, it can happen that you have some mini small um, air bubble inside. I'm gonna now just um, also explain you why this is sometimes the reason uh, when one let's say from 6 or 12 cores is running a little bit hotter as the other ones. So this could be uh, probably the reason for. Uh, the other thing is I have now just um, opened this one here fresh. I have also clean also here the silicone like you can see already but this doesn't matter. Uh, the thing that I want to show you is over here. Look at this place. So there you can see there was not really uh, solder it. Okay, all the rest was okay, but um, here you can really see that. Let me not just um, make it a little bit sharper and focus that. So and zoom. Yeah. So here you can see on this small edge there was not a great contact. The other thing is also on soldered CPUs um, that you can see sometimes a little bit of flux. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Um, take a look here. You see a rest of the flux from the soldering. And of course, on this side, you can here see some yeah, rest of flux. Okay, this happens when they just heat it up because before they close it, um, they heat it up and then of course the silicone here all around gonna hold the heat spreader. Sometimes on the heat spreaders you can also see the the rest of the flux. Uh, here I can I will show you right my lights now. But it's okay. So okay, let's just get here a little bit near. But here all around now you can see that flux. This is what I was talking about. So, and uh, wait. Sometimes, like I told, um, for first, here's the flux. Here, here, and here, and here. And like I told, sometimes you have uh, a small air bubble just between, and this, um, of course, gonna cause you a little bit of overheating. Um, on this chip, um, it was here, wait where I am here. Okay, so here you can see there was just no um, yeah, solder or soldering stuff. Okay, I will see not just about to clean and when you begin to clean latest then you're gonna see where was the problem. So here um, I also recommend just all to get yeah, off with your fingernail because your fingernail is hard enough to scratch the rest of soldering. Okay, here, take a look. See that? So you don't need to use any sharp metal uh, tools or whatever because you're gonna scratch the heat spreader or maybe you're gonna scratch um, the CPU and this will be bad. Okay, and um, I'm gonna try it later also to show you that I had here some really, really small air bubbles here one and I think it was about there uh, but this is what um, can happen on soldered um, CPUs mostly they are great okay so just forget about the Ivy bridge and Sandy bridge stuff <laughs> uh, soldered CPUs is the best uh, that you can have but in this case if you just got a problem like on this side here this is the problem why one or two cores or whatever are running a little bit hotter as the other ones okay and this is the thing that I just saw um, I'm gonna of course now clean it all and um, yeah like I told just do the most with your fingernail and later you can use some polish paper I don't know how it calls but I'm gonna show you this later and um, yeah for first you can just like I told remove this all with um, the fingernail I'm gonna now just remove um, a heat spreader live with you together here um, on camera uh, with my NSC <laughs> deleting tool and um, 
Here also of course just be sure that you really scratch all down and just then when this is all really clean you can um, get this all back together. I'm gonna maybe show you also how to get this back together. I have made a long long time a video about that but now I have even find yeah another solution which is yeah even more simply or let's say easier for you guys to get this working just with a light like this one here and uh, you just don't need anything else <laughs> yeah uh, okay i think um, now i'm gonna go for this guy here i got here great xeon also lapid already um, but i'm still not that happy because i already know where could be the problem and yeah mostly you can just um, yeah fix it when you just do it like here um, be sure that you have no soldering uh, let's say uh, rests or let's say dirt somewhere over here because it could get in contact with this smd components here and then you're gonna have a short circuit okay so that's why just take care and um, you should always watch out and work clean okay so i'm gonna now just get my smartphone in the tree pot and then i'm gonna do one with you together okay guys i'm gonna let it like this um, so this is also better for me just to work i'm gonna put this on the side so here the first thing is um you need to cut the silicon and um, I have here of course my special tool um, it should be very very thin and um, I have also here mark it for myself see just um, wait let me just focus this now here you can see a, a small uh, black line it's just that I know how deep I can go inside so here I know I'm gonna just stay around here because you have here also some small SMDs. So wait. And that's why I have just marked it that I know where is the maximum that I can get inside. Okay. But normally you're gonna feel it when it just um yeah hit one or let's say have contact, then you're gonna feel it's a little bit harder, but you're gonna not damage something. Because, yeah, no panic on Titanic, we got water for all. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna begin here. Yep. So normally it's all finished. I'm gonna now go one more again, or let's say one more time. Let's put this maybe here. Maybe gonna be able to see better. Okay, so it should be great. Um, you can also compare it, yeah, or you can also watch some, let's say, um, pictures on the internet. Just need to Google it, and then mostly you're going to be able to find something. So, here on the right side, you can see we have just no SND components, they just begin about here, here, and here. So it means there should be all okay. Begins about here and somewhere here. Okay, but all about this side till the edge here should be yeah possible without problem. Here again, you could also probably get deeper inside, like you can see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, now um, you can take a small razor blade like this one. This is a thinner one. Do not take the um, the bigger ones. Wait. Do not take this ones. Okay. They are a little bit um, bigger. Take a thinner one. It's full enough. Okay. Just take a thinner one, and then you get here inside. Normally it just doesn't matter where, but 
to be sure or to be on the safe side get here inside because here you have just nothing and um, I'm gonna not just heat it up a little bit okay because now the soldering uh, stuff gets a little bit let's say smooth yeah because it gets hot now I'm gonna get the razor blade here just easy do not press too much just a little bit don't force too much okay just a little bit so yeah I was in so I just want to test this all the time for myself just go inside a little bit Yeah, it's hot, I feel it already. Then I'm gonna put something like that. Yeah. Should be enough for me, but here. Mm, let's put some other stuff. Just want to do that perfect for you guys. Let's say for this video. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn again the camera for you. Just like on here, because then I need to press it down here. Hmm. Okay, you're gonna not be able to see something. Then let's try it maybe this side. Yeah. Okay. Okay, again. Let's see it up a little bit more. You can also feel it under under uh, the chip. Just try to feel it also, okay? And yeah, just heat it up like this. Okay. Try to get a little bit in. All right. Okay, now let's begin. Yeah, you can feel it. It holds slowly, guys. Uh huh. Here we go. Watch and learn. Ta -ta. Here we go. This is just perfect now. Try to cool it down. It's better so the chip will not stay that long so hot, you know. see here again something that I don't like and it's on this side again lots of air I can see that here wow it's hot <laughs> yeah just wait but this is the way you can go and like I told when you just get here your razor blade inside it must be a thinny one because you just don't want to have a lots of pressure, okay? Really, it's just a little bit. And it's, yeah, it just conforms about heat. And with a lighter like that, you cannot destroy anything. And uh, it just 
go slowly, just like I have done it. I have done it lots of times and you don't really need uh, special equipment. <laughs> Maybe this one. <laughs> no, really not. You just need something, um, something that is really thin to get inside the silicone. Then you can just cut it away. So I'm going to put this bad guy here. Yeah, chip is already cool. It's cool also. Now let's take a closer look. Yeah, you can see again um, what I was talking about here. See that? All full of flux. See that? It's all flux. You can scratch it away later. And here I got again on the same edge a little of um, air. So this guy here again on this edge and here you can see it was not really soldered nice. And this is also the reason sometimes when they are running hot. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put this away and I'll gonna try to take the heat spreader, which is still very hot. Very, very hot. I'm going to put it there. Wait. So, give me a second. You can see that. Yeah, sorry for my lights. Just some disco here. I'm gonna try to turn this to the other side. Yeah, look at that. I'm pretty sure there was just not sold it right. Yeah, and not to forget, of course, you need after that, um, you need liquid metal thermal paste, nothing else. Okay, I got here two of them, and um, this is, I think, the Ultra from a Cool Laboratory Liquid Metal Ultra, something like that. And this was a Liquid Metal Extreme. Yeah, I need to check it out again, but here again for you guys, this is the reason. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it all and then we can go for a test. You guys, um, look, if you believe me or not, I have not just done the most with my fingernail. Yeah, not kidding, look. Look all here. Yeah. And um, I have clean, clean also here the silicone. And here, like I told, um, just the most with the fingernail. See that? Look at this place here. I hope you can see that. There was not really solder it. Okay. Hmm. And also here, I have cleaned now the most again with my fingernail. Um, just so you can see. And then I have took this kind of um, what calls uh, polish uh, sandpaper, no, polish paper, I don't know. And um, always take care on the edges here. Take care on these edges, okay? Don't press too much, okay? Just do that all. Hold it in your hand and just easy. Don't need to press a lot down, see that? It goes away without problem. Look. Just do it till it looks like in the middle. Okay. Now just do also here. Okay. So, and then you can also see some small air bubbles everywhere. I don't know if you can see that. So, but then latest then. You're going to be able to see 
where it had no contact or let's say not really contact you can see air bubbles air bubbles air bubbles all full of that see that just that you can see that um, even soldered CPUs are not the best and that's why you can just do that like this and then later um, I'm gonna yeah get it back with some uh, liquid metal and here also the same uh, clean it because sometimes like I told you have here um, some flux and um, yeah okay so here put it on the table now you can see this edge see that this is the best proof now uh, which you can see that this place here was not really soldered. God damn it. That's just bullshit. <laughs> See that? This could already be one or two cores that was running hot. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my lights now is just off because my smartphone battery gets empty. But yeah, it was good now for the lights. Or let's say to to see that. So it's clean right now. See? And this area here or this place has just not changed because it was not really soldered. And this CPUs they have cost about thousand euros a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. And that's why sometimes it's just better when you just control it yourself. Trust is good, control is better. So, this one's finished. Here I can press a little bit more down with a lot of pressure, um, but on the chip itself, go easy, okay? Just slowly, easy. <sighs> so, yeah. I'm gonna now do my work. Wow, it feels so sexy. <laughs> Wow, okay, gonna do my work. Look at this. Nice and shiny. You can still see a little bit of flux which came from soldering. Okay, you can try um yeah to clean it, but it's not not necessary right now because this is outside the place, but sometimes it can happen that you wanna not place the heat spreader perfect on the place back. So let's say this was here. This later on it's to go there. So and let's say you was placed it uh, I don't know like this or like that. You see you can still move a little bit and that's why it's always great and recommend that you just clean all. And um, yeah, I'm happy. Then we're gonna apply liquid metal thermal paste. So. Yeah, no, it's good to see. Yeah, that's why I need some lights now. I'm gonna do my work and then I'm gonna record again. <laughs> Perfect. So guys, um, I'm now here for the thermal grizzly um, yeah, conduct tune out because the other one was not the best anymore. It begins to get hard. So yeah, I was now in the shop quickly getting this here for me. And yeah, now let me just make the lights on for you guys. So here we go. Okay, just a little bit. And uh, yeah, clean it again for the last time. You just don't want to have use any dust.
yes check the, the spaces till last time now check left and right if you have really the same spaces it looks good looks good there too here 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 yeah pretty happy let's give it a try nice yeah okay so and close it wow okay should look like this <laughs> no i'm gonna just yeah close this all i'm gonna put thermal greasy cryonaut over the cooler or let's say on the cooler and then let's see <laughs> i hope you like it this is the way it should go yeah pause Oh my god guys, I'm here testing some stuff on Horizon, <laughs> you're gonna never ever believe me that, but uh, yeah, it's all back like you can see. I was able to set the fan speed a little bit lower and I have better temperatures. I was here yesterday on 4.2 GHz, the guy was running on 77 degrees on maximum, okay? Now I'm on maximum, yeah, 58, I'm just waiting still because um, I just want to test it till the end. But wow, these are already more than 10 degrees better temperatures. And I thought this is not worth because the CPUs are already yeah, soldered. <laughs> wow, on an old computer, check this out. Okay, <laughs> not bad. Wow, that's really sick. Not bad on that old school computer. Wow, I can't believe. Guys, I was here yesterday on about 77 degrees. Look at this. Yeah, the great thing is also <clears throat> when you just, um, yeah, let's say when you just close the application, how fast the temperatures get back. This is the most important. A lot of people just doesn't know because they think it's just all about the cooling. No, no, it's about the transfer time, you know. So let's now just close. Yes, and let's close Steam. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> I'm back to 39 degrees. Wow! I love it. Wow, wow, wow. 37, 38. <laughs> yeah, this guy is running on 4.2 gigahertz, guys, with uh, 1.28 volts. Nice. Oh, yeah. And see in the place to be and see.